Hi everyone, it's Mrs. B and Maddie and we are here with Wednesday's edition of our blog and today I am grateful for um, my mom and dad who have a printer at their house. So I'm grateful for my mom and dad but I'm also grateful for a computer printer because um, I am a visual learner and I was sent something recently that I really needed to print out and hold in my hands and um, they were able to print that out for me and leave it for me, which was great. Um, so I could have that, which I don't have a printer at home. So maybe that's an investment I need to make. Maddie? Um, I'm grateful for computers because it helps me um, get my work done for school and it helps me like, if I wanna like interact with my friends and like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So what we're doing today is we are letter writing. This is something that is amazing for you guys to do at home. Everybody right now is missing someone. So you're missing a relative or you're missing a friend or you know somebody who's, who's living alone. Um, write them a letter. So I was thinking about this. When I was your age, we didn't have email. We didn't have cell phones. So we couldn't text. We couldn't email. Um, and I can promise you that if this were back in the 90s, early 90s, when this was happening, we would definitely be writing each other letters right now. I think that would be fun. I would love it. Well, you're about to experience it. Mm -hmm. So um, what was interesting to me is like a lot of you guys, uh, students, not parents, don't even know how to address an envelope. Maddie has a brother, um, Mason, shout out to Mason. Uh, he is 20 now, but last year when he went away to college as a freshman, he realized that he wanted to send one of his friends a letters and didn't know how to address the envelope. So he had to call home and um, we had to like show him how to address an envelope. So right now, first thing we're going to do before we get to the letter writing is we're going to show you guys how you address your envelope. I'm not going to actually show our address, but... Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get the name and street address of the person that you're writing to. So name, address, if the person has an apartment number, the apartment number, then city, state, and zip code. Up here in this corner, you're going to put your last name and then your home address. Just in case the letter were to get lost in the mail, that is um, how you would it would get returned to you. And then in this upper right-hand corner, you're going to need a stamp. So it's, paper. it's a little sticker stamp. Yep. Um, don't put a real sticker or won't mail anywhere. You need a forever stamp or a stamp. But anyway, actually, while you guys are home, it's a good idea for you to practice addressing an envelope. So Maddie's going to get her practice today. But there are many, many types of letters and things you can send in the mail. Um, the one that I'm doing today is a card. It's just a gift card that I had. And um, I'm going to write my message in here. And then I'm going to send it off in the mail to a friend. Maddie um, has some other ideas for letters. You can do a picture, like this one, like a picture on a card. Um, you can do like a piece of paper. You can like buy anything. And a traditional envelope. So if you yeah. write on a lined piece of paper, you can just put it in a regular business size envelope. Um, you can like buy some. Like I know we have these. And you can just buy it or like buy a pack of it and it will come with like envelopes inside of it. You can put in there. Um, yeah. So one of the ideas we had, um, we have a friend who um, lives alone and she actually is in a nursing home. So what we did was we used um, some of the photos we had on our phone and we actually asked for these to be printed out. Also, I told you we don't have a printer, but um, we printed some photos because one of the things we're going to include in our letter is um, just some of the things we've been doing. This is when we painted Kitty's nails. Okay. That's a dinner we recently went to. Um, I'm cut off. Yeah, we're going to have to look at that one. Um, 
the haircut that Maddie gave me. So we're just going to let our friends and family know a little bit more in depth about what we've done. So that's kind of a cool thing you can include. Um, if you're a good artist, you could include artwork. Um, Not me. Well, you have but, other talents. Well, as you can see in Although this. Although Maddie did draw this. So <laughs> oh, you, can, been, like, you can make your own grade. card, which is cool. But anyway, there really are a ton of ways. Um, and who doesn't like getting mail? I know you like getting mail. Yes. My um, especially magazines. Yeah, we get magazines in the mail, but um, also like for holidays, um, yeah. Nan and Sea Dog send you stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody mm -hmm. likes getting um mail. So why don't you guys go ahead, write a letter, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, students, guardians. Anybody at home? Oh, Kitty, stop that. Um, Kitty is going to write a letter too, apparently. All right. And we will see you tomorrow for another edition of Mrs. B and Maddie. Bye.